How's it going guys? Cody back again dropping out another video. Right, uh, I need to give a big, big, big shout out and respect to the Birmingham lot. They sent my uh, vlog earlier about Winston Green Prison that the media are looking to talk to former prisoners that have been in that prison. And a surprise, surprise, 8,152 of your, um, a small number of people sent my vlog to, to Niall down in Birmingham who spent time in that prison um, and he's also got he was part of the prison council and got phones in cells for prisons a man that moved mountains right he's came away from it all like a year and a half ago but he's a proper safe kid so i need to give a big shout out to all those that sent my vlog to tanaya tanaya hit me up on the phone we spoke i then patched him i put his number i sent the number for the journalist to tanaya tonight i spoke to the journalist that journalist came back to me said oh my god this kid He's top draw, he knows what he's talking about, gives a great insight. Um, so I think the idea is tonight, today, because it's obviously past midnight, it's Monday the 20th of August now, tonight is going to be doing interviews on national news. Um, so they'll record it, they'll get some great content from him. And they're going to be outside the prison all day tomorrow. So <clears throat> if you're a former prisoner uh, and you want to have your say about uh, Winston Green Prison, about the state of the prison about the regime, conditions, treatment, education, all that sort of stuff, healthcare, get down to the prison tomorrow, make yourself known to the news vans that are gonna be down there all day. Um, like I said, the, the journalist I spoke to is gonna be there for from about eight o'clock in the morning till about half 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So get down there. Tonight is gonna to be doing an interview, so I'm blessed to speak to tonight. So thank you to you guys proper safe safe kid uh, and hope i get to link up with him in the future and stuff because there's a lot more interviews that he can probably do because he knows his stuff he's done interviews anyway do you know i mean he's not new to that scene anyway thank you for that guys moving on from that <clears throat> this is a story uh coming out guys that's in the sun newspaper um about a death in custody of a prisoner right reference uh, smuggling drugs into the prison uh, as always guys i'll put a link in the description below so the headline reads Deadly stash, prisoner dies after smuggling kinder eggs packed with drugs into HMP Durham. He fell gravely ill and medics were unable to save him. A lag died after smuggling a drug-filled kinder egg into prison inside his body. Convicted robber Liam Clerkson, 27, had hidden the capsule normally used to hold kids' toys to get past checks at Durham Jail. The 27-year-old, it says he had died on August the 6th after putting the drug-filled kinder egg inside his body. He had also tried to bring in several packets of deadly spice worth thousands by swallowing them, but he fell gravely ill and medics were unable to save him. A source said a kinder egg, a kinder egg plastic capsule has been used by gangs for some years as a convenient way to carry drugs. Prisoners have been known to use them to smuggle them into jail by stashing them up their bottoms or the prison pocket, guys, anal cavity prison pocket. This shows the danger when it goes wrong. Clerkson from Newcastle died in hospital on August the 6th. He had recently completed a five-year jail sentence for robbery after being convicted in 2013. The prison service sent condolences to his family. A spokesman said, as with all deaths in custody, there will be an independent investigation. And that's it, guys. That, that's all I've got for right now. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, my thoughts and prayers uh, go out to Liam Clerkson's uh, family. God bless him. May rest in peace. Like I said, uh, obviously the reason he smuggled drugs into the prison inside his body, guys, is because <clears throat> um, it's very, very lucrative, the drugs market within prisons now. You might pay X amount on the street, but depending on the, the availability of drugs, when you get into the prison, they can go for... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times that, depending on availability of drugs, supply and demand. What I mean by that, for those that don't know, if you're if there's a drought on and you're the only person on the wing with a drug, you can charge a premium. If you've got several people on the wing with the same drug selling it, undercutting you, you've got to bring your prices down in accordance with that. Otherwise, you're going to lose business. Um, so he's obviously going to be recalled or he's committed another crime. No, he's going to go back to jail. So he's, he's plugged it, as we call it in prison, he plugged it. And like I said, he's, he's swallowed, it sounds like he'd swallowed some wraps of spice, or he might have put it in the prison pocket, but according to the media thing, he'd swallowed lots of spice. Um, and like I say, if one of them catch all bursts, you're in a world of shit. Um, my thoughts and my prayers go out to Liam's family. Like I say, no one should leave prison in a body bag. 
he was obviously he was trying to do his bit in prison. In prison, you've got it's every man for himself, and you need to do what you've got to do to survive. <clears throat> by by getting the drugs into prison and then selling them at a premium, you're going to make yourself a lot of money. Well, not money, but you can. Well, you can make money. Like I said, you've got you can do it via canteen where you like items are bought for you on the canteen. You order it, and the prisoner. You, you order it on someone else's canteen, it comes, they give it you, or bigger amounts of drugs, um, mobile phone, ring the person on the out, say, right, they two meet up, give them the money, transfer the money, send the money, you ring your missus on the out, say you're the drug user, right, the, the drug dealer say, right, you ring your missus on the out, here's, here's the bank details, tell her to put the money in this account, then the, the drug dealer will ring up whoever's on the out, has that money landed yet? And then the drug will go. Some people do it on tick if they trust them, but like I say, some prison some prisoners will only give the drug if it's paid up front. Other prisoners will give it on tick, and then obviously you don't pay. When you say you're going to pay, double bubble, which means that the debt gets doubled and doubled, and then eventually they'll just either fill you in or they'll get someone to come into your cell and fill you in. Simple as that. Uh, but like I say, guys, um, very lucrative, the drugs market within prisons. I'm, I'm gutted. It's come at the cost of Liam's uh, life and everything. God bless him. May I rest in peace. My thoughts and prayers with his family. Um, let me know what you think about the video, guys. Let me know what you think about this tragic story. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.